um, several um, causes of disabilities. Some, you know, they range from uh, genetics to nutrition to uh, trauma. Now, when you talk about genetics, you know, there are some conditions outside of, uh, you know, genetic modifications. <laughs> you can get a child with disability. Some causes of uh, disabilities are actually not known, not yet known. Research is still undergoing. There are some like trauma. For example, if you, if you have an accident and you get your leg cut off, you know, that's, that's trauma. And there's also some causes, um, you know, like uh, nutrition during pregnancy. You know, you, you get some case, cases like a drosophilus, where the health is uh, bulged. You know, some nutrients have uh, have been known to lack of some nutrients have been call, known to cause you know some of those conditions. And you also look at um, some conditions like cerebral palsy. Some of it happens at birth, when the parent probably doesn't go to the hospital and there's prolonged labor. You know, there can be. You know that can be one of the causes of some of the disabling conditions we have. So it's 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 um, my read of, uh, of 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 um, of, of um, joined situations, or to say, that would end up having one sort of condition. Some of them are really simple to correct, even if we don't know the causes, like the cleft lip and palate. It's just a simple surgery of about you know 30 minutes, and the kid is back to normal. But some of those causes have not been known what exactly causes it. So it's very specific to a, a condition. I would say that. Yeah.